could have been John. I tried to make him get some help, because I was afraid something like this might happen. Well, it could happen again, and next time he might not be so lucky. Oh, I know, because there are still perps out there, just like that guy, walking the streets. Always have been, and there always will be. But John, I mean, what he did this time, something's changed, Bo. Something's different. It's in Statesville. So what do we do? Unfortunately, there's nothing that we can do, because he just killed a man. And there's going to be fallout from internal affairs. Oh, of course there is. There has to be. I still don't know how John's going to deal with it. You know, John first became a cop. I used to worry about something like this happening all the time, you know? But the years passed, and nothing happened. I sort of put it on the back burner, you know? Now this. I hope there are repercussions, Bo. Somebody has to do something. My brother's gonna end up dead. Like my dad. You know, I don't like threats. I don't like them from other cops, and I sure as hell don't like them from IA. Shooting from the hips what got you into trouble in the first place. Oh, is that what they told you? We got the details. Then you should know I did what I had to do. You had to kill the guy. I made the call as I saw it. And it was the right one. What if it had been the wrong one? What, what if you had missed and the perp had shot you or your brother or both? Or worse still, what if you had shot your brother? Wouldn't that happen? Oh, okay. And what about negotiating? I told him to drop his weapon, I would drop him. And that is your idea of negotiations? Oh, gee, Doc, I didn't have a lot of time to shoot the breeze with this guy. All right? There was work to be done. Yeah? It took three shots to do it? I wanted to be thorough. And that's all I have to say. I'm done here. You got that part, right? What the hell is that supposed to mean? You're not going back on the street anytime soon. Well, uh, I came by here to see Jessica. I uh, ended up cooking her an omelet, thought I'd clean up your kitchen. Didn't want to leave it a mess. And where is she now? I don't know. She went out, said she had to meet somebody. You just let her go? Well, it's not really my place to stop her, is it, ma'am? Was she Tess when she was with you? No. No. Mrs. Davidson, can I ask you a personal question? This, uh, Nikki Smith character, do you ever feel her? I mean, when you're not her, when she's not out, when you're not, um, integrated look nash the whole purpose of integration is to negate the separateness of the alter's existence and to fuse it to the dominant personality so no i do not feel nikki smith well i did not until recently but that's only because i've just realized that i am not yet fully integrated okay but when 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 you do well what do you feel? I mean, do you act more like her? Do you hear her voice okay, in your head? I know what you're asking. You want to know if when Jessica is integrated, will there be enough of Tess left in her to still love you, hmm? One can't help hoping. Yes, yeah. well, I'm afraid I can't help hoping. The exact opposite. I'm sorry. I want Jessica back. And that means doing away with Tess and everything that has to do with Tess. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear, but you're going to have to accept it because it is inevitable. You have to let go of Tess. And you have to stop dreaming about something that will never, ever be. And now I would suggest that you let yourself out. I still just don't understand why Blair is just cutting you off like that. She thinks I killed Margaret. Actually, that's probably OK with her. It's the fact that I killed Margaret's kid that's the problem. Well, I believe <clears throat> you. And Mom does, too, and so does Evangeline. Yeah, well, I didn't make a career out of lying to any of you. Not the way I did to Blair. She's always loved you so much. Not anymore. Well, those feelings just don't go away. I mean, well, I guess sometimes love just isn't enough. OK. Who are we talking about now? I love Antonio. Mm -hmm. 
What if he's not the father? It won't change how I feel about him. It's still gonna change a lot, however. Well, I'll deal with that. Are you sure you can? Well, compared to what you're going through? Don't worry about me. How can I not? <laughs> you are my favorite niece. <laughs> Thanks. I need to feel that way again. The way it was before everything got all messed up. You just worry about yourself. You worry about the baby. Don't worry about me. Be with the one you love, whoever that is. That's, that's the important thing. Time's up. Well, hey, thanks for coming. Thanks. But I don't want you to do it again. Why? Because it's no good for you. And it's no good for your, uh... Well, what about you? I, mean, I got nothing left. Better's gone. Todd, you can't do that. You can't give up. I mean, no more than I can. You can't stop fighting until you get Blair back. See ya. Blair, I'm leaving. I'll leave you alone. You can, uh, call me on the cell if you need to. I suppose. Well, uh, well, I know you need some time alone, so. I'll, uh, I'll call next time before I come over, and uh, I won't bother you. And I just needed to know that you were okay. I'm not okay. But I'm better when you're here. I don't want you to go. I know Commissioner Buchanan already has your service revolver. So I'm no danger to anyone. I happen to disagree. We need you to turn over your badge. Steve? What's going on? The lieutenant here shot a perp. He's holding a hostage. Something had to be done, or we both could end up being killed. Which, from all reports, you could have caused. We need you to turn over your badge. Procedure says the weapon is held for 24 hours. The badge... The badge may be taken when the officer is suspended upon further review. I'm not suspended. I'm on non-active duty. John, hear me. You are suspended. Indefinitely. Please, don't make this harder than it has to be. I would like you to consider those counseling sessions, all right? Go to hell. Fifteen minutes, you have to clean out your desk. Just your personal items, your files stay. He doesn't want me. Or anybody else right now. Then I'll stay then. Whatever you need, whatever you want. I want you not to go. All right, then I won't. As long as you think. You know what? I don't want to think anymore. I'm so tired of thinking. That's all I've been doing for months is thinking. Thinking about Todd. Thinking about how I'm going to take care of my kids. I just... I just can't think anymore. And don't. Jessica, I was just uh, leaving you a note. Um, I didn't know that you'd still be here. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I. Thought I'd do the dishes, give uh, Lois a break. What's the matter? Uh, I just came back from seeing my Uncle Todd, and he just... just looks so lost. And you, um... You feel the same way. I just wanted to help him. But I can't. I can't help myself. I can't help my baby. Hey, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay for me. 
It's not okay for you. I'm sorry. What do you have to be sorry for? I'm sorry because me being here means that you can't be with the person you love. Let go of my daughter right now, please. 